Hi everyone, I hope you well. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into XDC. The reason I'm doing this, uh, full transparency, I've never even heard of this, to be honest with you. Uh, I've see, just seen so many people requesting it on Twitter and YouTube, so I thought I'd jump onto it and, and have a look at it for you. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it looks okay, doesn't it? The market capitalization is currently $1.5 billion. Uh, I think its rank on CoinGecko at the moment is uh, number 73. So it's doing really well. It's picking up. I mean, just looking at this chart on CoinGecko, you can see it's moving in waveforms. It's like coiling up or something there. I mean, the appreciation. Wow. I'm going to jump into the chart in a moment. But yeah, I mean, the trading volume is 44 million. Uh, where is it? Mostly traded on Qcoin, Bitfinex. So Qcoin is currently using 10 billion worth of volume and Bitfinex is using 11 uh, million um, of traded volume in the last 24 hours, I believe that is. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's looking okay, it's doing well. Um, you know, I'm gonna look in the, into the charts in a minute. You can see the volume's picking up here as well, which is good. Um, so what else have we got? The, the 24 hour low is 0.09 cents. The seven day low is seven cents. The high is actually 15 cents, just I think that's the all time high, isn't it? Uh, all time low was, oh yeah, but look at that, that's ridiculous. It's up 32,000% since it's low two years ago, July 22nd. So honestly, don't even know what this is. I won't go into the, what it is with you because obviously it'll take time on the video, but I'm just going to jump into the, um, the, I'll leave the links to it so you can research it yourself, but I'm just doing a bit of TA on it for people that have requested it. Okay, so we'll take a look. So just looking at XDC on the daily time frame, and this is trading on Bitfinex. Okay, the current local high is around about 17 cents. It's currently trading at... Uh, 0 0.129 roughly around that area wow look at that okay so basically this is this a previous cycle top 2016 uh, 2018 sorry April and he rolled into the bear market just there you created that low bit of a scam wick low that so that I'm going to use that as a low just there just there's your, your bear market bottom for uh, XDC and let's put that line in let's try and get this knob on okay so just there that's your that's your low just there ignore the scam wicks where you can where you can ignore scam wicks can okay especially on lows because it shows an enormous level of support so right now you can see that it's come up and it's made made this beautiful buy and go to the beat signal on the weekly time frame from coins kid uh last may 2020 wow you create that massive ball flag just there or potentially yeah, a bit of a ball flag and then you came back to a key level support and you've got continuation you're actually melting faces right here it's looking good it's looking good i'm going to zoom in on the time frames in a minute but you know it, it, what a, a entry point that is you know remember this coins kid crew okay remember millionaires are made in bear markets okay not necessarily bull markets you want to be up buying fear you want to be buying these lows down here you want to be buying it when it's in the floor and especially when you get this signal here on the weekly you know, or daily you know if you can be fortunate enough to see this on the weekly you know in the start of a bull market this is a confirmation statement right here you come up you get overextended you hold it as support the EMAs wow you know that's that's your buy and go to the beach signal from coins kid right there and look at that appreciation from that moment okay so remember this moving forward in bear markets if I'm not around or I'm not making videos and you're looking at charts and you're looking for optimal entry points the buy and go to the beach signal is a 20 crossing the 55 and the weekly you know hold and back test of confirmation of support which we're going through now on all the projects on the daily time frame okay but if you see anything like this in the future you know in a bear market on a weekly that's your optimal entry point and look at that that's uh 1000 sorry 10000 percent that's appreciated so that's almost 100x it's ridiculous in over yeah just over a year isn't it so you know this wasn't exempt was it from the the capitulation the rollover that we've just gone through but right now it's already breaking the all-time high so this is bullish you know when you see things like this this is no bear market there's no bear market here is there you know when you're seeing things like this continue with the uptrend this is a confirmation statement in, in, if anything that we're continuing with the bull you know and other, other projects are a little bit lackluster and behind so this looks really really bullish to be honest with you you've got a technical target at 1618 uh around about 18 cents at the moment you're a little bit shy of that i think the top there was 17.2 yeah so 17 cents is your local top at the moment on bit for next anyway you've got a technical target of the 1618 where i would imagine you're going to run into a level of resistance right there but what we're going to do that looks like a cup and handle on the daily time frame right there so this is a bit of a technical target okay you, you might melt through that we're going to look at this uh, daily time frame right now to see what we can see okay but wow yeah what what an absolute project this is i don't even know what it is i wish someone told me about this 
But uh, I'm, you know what I'm going to make? I'm going to make an algorithm. Um, I'm, I'm giving my secrets away now. I won't tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be. It's going to be a surprise in the next bear market, anyway. So stick with the channel. But right now, look, massive cup and handle, massive cup and handle, bullish pattern. Look, you've created the basin. You've come up. You created level of resistance, previous high. You've rolled back, forming the handle. You start to creep up, creep up, and you're now coming up and breaking the resistance. And with that, you do have a technical target. Okay, so we'll drop this level in just there. Uh, from there to there is your cup and handle. These are really bullish continuation patterns. You will see these formed in, in big bullish continuation bull markets. Okay, you see loads of these. This is my forte, the cup and handles. You know, I'm seeing them all over the place starting to form. Um, so basically, look, you've got the breaker resistance right there, and you can see this will actually bring you up because you're breaking the high. You run into a low resistance, a bit of a sell off. That's normal. So you get a little bit overextended, but you do have a technical target out of the cup and handle at 21 cents, and obviously that takes you up above that 1618. So yeah, that's my price prediction so far for for, for XDC you're looking at a further appreciation right here from this point okay you're already above the level of resistance because let me draw this properly okay so you can see so yeah at the minute you're just slightly above it okay you might roll under it and then start to form some kind of big horizontal triangle that you're coming up into so this is bullish okay but you have got a breakout target from there look which you've already broken out there's a lot of wicks here there's a lot of back and forth but that's your technical target right now for XDC, which was also just above the technical target of the 1618 just there. So this is really bullish. You know, if you start to retain this level of previous resistance and hold it as support right now, you are looking at a further upside. You know, come up to the 1618, which is 44% upside, and then obviously to the technical target, the cup and handle, which is 68% uh, long opportunity right there. Okay, so it's looking good. It's looking good, providing you can hold this as support right now, and this is a daily time frame. Providing you can see the close above 12422, uh, which you're floating round about there now at the minute. Come up, hold this as support. You're looking at continuation, holding the EMAs on the daily as well. Okay, you're looking good. You're looking really, really good here for continuation for XDC. And you know, this is one of them sort of projects that you do need to pay attention to. It is a multi billion dollar market cap, isn't it? It's above 1 billion. So potentially, you know, when you look at projects that are doing this, this is confirmation of the bull, not the bear. Okay. Take care, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that update and, and hopefully that's answered some of your questions. But this is a key level of support, future price predictions if you can hold this support. If you do lose this support, you know, and you do start to see the market roll, put some cheeky bids on the daily 20 EMA, currently at 8 cents, which I would anticipate to hold as a massive level of support because you've, you've broken out of a big cup and handle pattern here, which is a bullish continuation pattern. Okay. Take care, everyone. Back tomorrow with another update. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. And thank you for your support. Bye bye.